Imagine this, you are undercover and on the verge of busting a network of wildlife traders. Someone tips off the gang and just as you reach their camp, they flee. There are three of them running ahead and your team is way behind. What do you do? I shout at, huh? don't shoot. Don't shoot. That all the people are running and they stop. They are running, they stop immediately. Then I shout at. Meet Mr. Malanko, an Indian wildlife crime specialist. With decades of experience in battling illegal trade, he is now learning the tricks of passing on his knowledge to the next generation of wildlife guardians. Mr. Maranku is one of the 14 wildlife experts attending a training of trainers hosted by International Fund for Animal Welfare Wildlife Trust of India for wildlife crime prevention. The participants are being mentored to become trainers for IFWTI's Fund Raksha, also known as the Guardians of the Wild Project, that builds capacity of frontline staff protecting India's natural heritage. The project has till date trained over 13,000 frontline staff in more than 130 protected areas in India and Bhutan. With the training of trainers, I4WTI is building a group of dedicated trainers to address the vast diversity in languages spoken by the frontline staff in India, says the chief mentor Aniruddha Mukherjee. A training of trainers specifically looks at where the talent is and where the talent is in a local language and then picks up that talent and hones it and customizes it to deliver exactly the same kind of quality and the same kind of message. It's like saying that we have a completely diverse bunch of singers who are singing in completely different languages, but the song they sing has to be the same because it gives the same message across. That's what training is.